In this video, I'm going to show you how you create this advanced spin transition in Adobe Premiere Pro without using any plugin or any preset. So the first thing we need to do is to create an adjustment layer, drag and drop at above of your footage. And now we need to cut out our adjustment layer because it's too longer. By the way, this transition working with a 10 frame on each side, we need to count 10 frame on right side. You just count like that, moving your arrow key, or you can just hold shift and just press right arrow key twice. And here is the 10 frame on right side. So we need to make a cut to leave this extra layer. Now we need to count the frame on the left side as you can done. Just hold shift left arrow key twice make a cut by press ctrl k and delete this extra layer and here we have a 10 keyframe adjustment layer right here so actually we need to make a cut at between of our adjustment layer and here we have a two piece one piece is 10 frame per second now we need to go to effects and just search transform drag at both of your adjustment layer pieces select our first adjustment layer go to effects control now the first thing we need to do is to create a scale keyframe by just press on this stopwatch and here we have a keyframe just move it back to the default values right that now we can create an other keyframe and just change its scale value to 300 and just move it to the end of our adjustment layer and now just move forward one keyframe like that create a keyframe by just press on this stopwatch now create an other keyframe of rotation and change its value to 90 and move this keyframe to the end of our adjustment layer now we need to change this shutter angle to 360 you can also change this value to between the 200 to 360 but 360 is the maximum value Value. so I will go with that make sure you can uncheck this use composition and here is the first adjustment layer we can done now let's move to the second piece of adjustment layer create a scale keyframe and change its value to 300 because our last scale point value is 300 so we change it to 300 make another keyframe and change its value to 100 or you can say a default one and move back to the end of our adjustment layer now we need to create a rotation as well and change its value to minus 90 because the last keyframe we created for rotation is about 90 and we need to make it full rotation so that's why i'm changing this to minus 90 make it a little bit backward like that and change its rotation value to zero because at the end of our adjustment layer we need to move back to our default values like that uncheck this use composition and change this shutter angle to 360 that we can done before it's working really good you can make it more smoother for that just select your first adjustment layer and just drag down the scale first of all and this rotation as well and just change the keyframes so for that i'm just select my the both the keyframes of scale and rotation and change it to the best here and here you can see we got this horizontal lines right here and you can change it according to your choice but i'm just make it a little bit upward like that like so so it's looking really good to go and now let's move to the next adjustment layer drop down both of scale and rotation so in the first adjustment layer we change the first keyframes like the beginning keyframes to the bezier but in the second adjustment layer we change the end of this keyframe to the bezier like that and you need to move it back and here we got a horizontal lines so all you have to do is to make it a little bit bigger that we can done before in our first adjustment layer select that rotation keyframes and do that same that we can done and also if you create this transition and you want to use it later you can also do that for that you need to select this first adjustment layer go to here and just select select all and now just save preset or you can save this preset and change it to scale or you can change it to scale incur to out point and for the second adjustment layer select all of these effects save preset 
and cut to the end point because here the first adjustment layer is just end right here and the second adjustment layer is just starting or you can say in point right here or you can say it to the right and just press ok and you can apply this preset to your any of your footage by just creating a simple adjustment layer so here if you are right inside of Wondershare Filmora, Wondershare Filmora is one of the best software if you are a beginner or you just start learning video editing then this software is really help you a lot. If you don't have a good PC or you don't have a good machine to run a video editing software like Premiere Pro or After Effects, Filmora help you a lot and it gives you a lot of the effects that you can done within the Filmora and you don't need to buy some other pack to use in a Filmora. So here you can see we got a stock media media audio text transition as well here you can see we got a lot of this transition you can just right click and apply with a just one click so this video is all about spin transition so for that I'm just search orb orb is just like a spin but not a spin so for showing that Filmora what can do for you so that's why I'm showing you here you can see I will just apply this orb twist and here is the result we got after that yeah that's looking really great you can also double click on it and change this duration to the 20 second or 20 frames even you can set according to your requirements yeah that's working really great so they are giving many effects many transition you can check them out link in the description below so if you're a beginner then filmora help you a lot for sure you can also check it out their titles where you can get a lot of the categories and also you get uh, audio categories right here more than that they can also offer a stock media like pixels pixabay or unsplash you don't need to go to the website to get some stock videos for your projects you just need to touch any any video that you want and you can done within a few seconds so I mentioned the Filmora link in the description below you can check them out if you really want to learn video editing so yeah that's all for today's tutorial if you like this tutorial give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question about this tutorial please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video I will see you in the next time